Today you join us on the covered drive of the new Skoda Elrock. As you can see by the camouflage, there is a lot we can't show you today, both on the outside and the inside actually. Uh, but we're going to take you around the car, we're going to show you everything that we can uh, for this new generation of cars from Skoda. It's an important car for the brand, an important car for the direction that Skoda is taking with electrification, with the new design language. So it's certainly worth having a look. It's of course the electric sister or brother of the Carrock. That car will remain in the lineup, so you're really going to have something to choose between combustion and electric in terms of the size of the vehicle. Uh, but it is really a step underneath the Enyaq, which I think is a good start of this new design language that we of course can't see today thanks to this camouflage wrap. Uh, but that will be further in the year where we can actually reveal you the entire car. This car is an important car because it is really setting the tone for a new step and a new era, if you want to call it that way, in terms of Skoda design and Skoda vehicle. So that's exciting. And having a little taste today, I'm confident that it's going to be a success, especially in the Netherlands where we are today. This is a car that fits the lifestyle of in and around the town with enough space inside for people and things and it's actually everything that you want from a Skoda. It's simple, it's usable, it's functional, and it's smart where it needs to be without being overly complicated where it doesn't. If you come from a modern Skoda product, you're gonna feel right at home here. Everything is where you think it will be, everything works the way you think it'll work. Uh, so it's a very pleasant transition uh, coming from a, a Skoda product. Uh, actually coming from a Volkswagen Group product in general, you're gonna feel right at home here. Of course, there's uh, a lot of differences between, for example, an ID4 and this, or the Seat equivalent, uh, but everything makes sense, which is nice uh, because that is something sort of core to the Skoda DNA. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel where it isn't necessary. Uh, they have the Simply Clever slogan, obviously, so they, they add touches of cleverness where relevant, and those touches really add something to the car and your experience with the car. Living with the car day to day, you want those clever options you don't want to have a screen operating your window switches, for example. It's too complicated, it doesn't work, there's a learning curve, all the stuff that you don't want. It's not a solution to a problem that you have. So Skoda doesn't do those things, which is nice. In the middle, I have a big infotainment screen that we know from other Volkswagen Group products. In front of me, I have a small driver display with my essential information, like speed, state of charge, cruise control, those kind of things. And in this version, I also have a head-up display with pretty much the same information. So that's nice, uh, there's plenty you can do with that in terms of adjustments, but it, it gives you all the basic information that you need, uh, navigation, so on. So that is very nice. So where this car has the underpinnings uh, of the Enyaq, this is a very different proposition than the Enyaq. That's obviously a big family car, two kids, the dog, the mountain bike, and the ski box on the roof kind of proposition. This is significantly smaller, so you're gonna be compromised as far as that goes in terms of boot space and interior space, but it is also a car that's not claiming to be an Enyaq. It's significantly positioned underneath that. So you get a car that is suitable maybe for a couple with the first kid on the way or a couple with one kid or maybe people that used to have kids but not anymore uh, but still want a car that is able to carry more than two passengers in comfort and style with luggage. Uh, so it's that's the proposition of the car. The boot obviously is a big one. I say big one it's not as big as you are expecting from an Enyaq, despite the same platform. And of course, Skoda is simply clever, so there's plenty of smart features here, like this net here where you can put stuff in. We have shelves on both sides for anything from your high-vis vests to your emergency pack. We have these smart dividers that Skoda is known for, all kinds of hooks and tie-down points. We even have a 12-volt charger here in the corner, so yeah, everything you really need. Down here, there is also a little extra pocket, in this case, for your tow bar, but you can also fit your charging cables in there. That also fits, so they don't have to lay around your trunk at all times. Of course, we can fold the seats down as well. You can't do that from back here, so I gotta take the partial shelf out. And when we do that, and I fold these down, 60-40 split, you can see it gets quite cavernous in here, uh, but this is easily enough to transport your dryer and go to Ikea, no issues whatsoever. I can even go sit in it if you want for scale. I'm 183 and about 90 kilos. I fit not really underneath, but yeah, you can see how much space there is in here. So it's a slightly shorter car than the Enyaq, but you can see there's quite a lot of space left. I'm sitting, I reckon, behind an adult, 
So, you know, nothing is going wrong there. My feet fit under the seat, so that's quite nice. And overall, this is perfectly fine for an adult. I'm about 183, a little over 90 kilos. No issues here whatsoever. But we can see that the top here is hard. Then it gets soft here in the middle, the points you touch with the real door handle and one button for the window. Down here, it gets hard again with, in this case, nothing lining the door bins either. But there's still smart features like this window shade thing. That's nice. I like those kind of features because they actually add a solution to a real world problem. If I move a bit further into the car, here in the middle, you're obviously always sitting higher and harder. That's also the case here. I wouldn't really want to sit here with three times myself, uh, but for a short journey, no issue, especially because there's no transmission tunnel and I can put my feet under the seats in front. So that's nice. A few smart things, uh, obviously here with the big uh, bin to put anything in and then a small flap for your phone, for example. I always like those kind of things because they are also solutions to real world problems. So that's nice. Well done there. Down here, we can see the Isofix points with a flap and that flap is actually attached. So that is job well done. In the middle, the middle console is nothing simple, pretty straightforward, but uh, smart. There's no cup holders in the middle because your elbow will always go in there. Instead, we have this little foldy Audi thingy. Quite nice, good solution, simple. And we have a ski hatch here that we saw earlier in the boot for your pass through. So that's also nice everything just the way it should be. Last but not least, we have some ventilation here. Uh, simple manual controls and buttons for warmer and colder. There's two buttons left, so that's potentially for some seat heating maybe. Uh, but also nice and simple, no screens to swipe or anything else, just controls the way you want them. Overall, it's quite a nice place to be here in the back. Um, no issues in terms of space, also for an adult my size, so that is pretty good. Uh, so no question that a family will fit in here just fine. And I can really uh, see even on longer road trips, I would be more than comfortable here. From what I've seen and from what we've seen in the demo, it is going to be a good looking car. And I'm quite excited for this form factor as well. For now, that's all we got for this short impression of the Skoda Elrock. Thank you very much for watching. There's also a Dutch version available of this video on the Dutch channel that we'll link in the description below. So if that's more your thing, please subscribe and support us there. For now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.